Need any last minute ideas for kids' Halloween activities? In this video, I'll be showing you how I built this simple, easy, not so scary monster beanbag toss. Hey there, Christy here, welcome. Here I show you DIYs of things I like to build around my house myself. I hope to inspire you that if this ordinary mom with zero building experience can build simple things, then you can too, while using simple tools and simple plans and keeping things at a fraction of retail cost. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Go ahead and take a screenshot of the materials and cuts. Rip a sheet of plywood in half and then in half again. First, I'm marking lines. This will be the monster's mouth. The larger the opening, the easier it is for kids to throw the bean bags inside. Changing my drill bit so I can make a hole and using a jigsaw to cut out the opening. Now on to monster number two. Tracing a small plate to make the game harder for older kids. Same as before, using a spade bit to drill a hole in the plywood. And using the jigsaw again to cut out the opening. Here I'm going back around to smooth out the circle. Sanding off rough edges and splinters. Now taking a 1x2 board, adding wood glue and clamping it to the plywood. Here's a tip so I don't make a pilot hole straight through both boards. Adding painter's tape so I know when to stop drilling. Alright, three pilot holes are in. Now adding 1 inch wood screws. Next, I'm adding two door hinges to the top. Three small pilot holes. Now changing the drill bit to attach the screws that came with the door hinge. Now door hinge number two. Same as before, three small pilot holes and attach the three screws that came with the door hinge. Now onto the bottom side of the board. Using wood glue and attaching the one by two four inches from the bottom. Using clamps to hold in place, I'm making three small pilot holes. Then attaching one inch screws on both sides. In the middle I'm using a washer and a one and a quarter inch screw to attach the chain. Next we're going to attach the top piece to the other piece of plywood. I'm not really sure how it happened, but right about here is where the camera flipped upside down. So here we're just repeating the steps that we did on the other piece of plywood. I found that the easiest way to attach the door hinge was laying the pieces of plywood flat on the ground with the two top sides touching each other, like you see here. Now the bottom side, again attaching four inches from the bottom, pilot holes, and one inch screws. Don't attach the middle screw yet because we'll have to flip the boards right side up to attach it with the chain. Here I'm attaching the chain with a one and a quarter inch screw and a washer. Two builds complete. Now outlining the monster, prepping for paint. You can skip this part if you just cut out the teeth when you originally do your jigsaw cut, but I didn't even think about it. Here's where we make a good team. They love to paint, so that helps a lot. And all we're using here is a dot sponge. Outlining the legs and eyes, and we're about done. What kind of cute and fun Halloween things are you making? I always love to see what other people are up to. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos just like this. I post a new one every week. Details are in the description box in case you miss any measurement cuts or materials. As always, if I can inspire just one mom to pick up a drill, then these videos are worth it. Keep tackling those projects and we'll talk soon. Everybody, um, that I helped my mom do that blue one, and my sister did that one all by herself. Oh, well, bye.